So good afternoon guys and welcome again to my channel. Uh, today it's a lovely day in Dublin, it's a bit cold but sunny and for today's vlog we're going to visit one of the small towns outside Dublin which is Bray. Let's go. So to get to Bray from Dublin you have two options, actually you have a lot of options but the best way is, is to use the public transport. You can use the trains or the bus. If you're using the train it will take you maybe around 30 minutes and if you will take it by bus it might take a little time like an hour because of the traffic so for today's episode we're going to use the train you up in the sky i'll carry you home home to the mountain near. and soon my friend you'll see them again but once you left behind the ones you left Welcome to Bray, but just unfortunate because it's raining suddenly. But anyway, let's explore. Come on. Oh my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve. Suddenly, I miss Cebu. I miss the beach in Cebu. I didn't know Bitao, but um, sounds, uh, waves, I mean, uh, water, it's just good to listen. Like, it's kind of making you relax. There's nothing much to do in the place, but I think nice here for short walks, um, enjoying the sea breeze, and then yeah, there are some restaurants around, so we might have lunch after this, and there is a mountain over there. They call that one the Brayhead. But I think it's not the best time to go now and because it's a bit cold and it was raining earlier on so it will be slippery though. So we just decided really just to go around, walk around the seashore and then yeah, just enjoy the view. Moving on, seeing it all in a whole new There is an attraction here outside Bray that I want to see and I want to share it to you. It's the Powerhouse, Power Squad House. Guys, this place is so amazing. I mean, honestly. It is actually a, a, mass, a massive garden. Seven attractions in this place, so we'll check them. First is the Japanese garden. Let's go and check it out. On the balcony. It's actually a small garden, Japanese inspired, with a grotto in the middle of the little stream. Um, I've never been to Japan, to be honest, but the environment is a bit different. Like it's taking you 
to another place. The sound of the trickling water on the small stream in this garden is actually relaxing to listen. It, it's kind of making you uh, one with nature. So we are done visiting the Japanese garden. Next is the Tower Valley. We are here and you know what? Things are getting more and more exciting. Yes, I could do it all different, but oh, I see. That's for the Tower Valley. There's nothing much really on it, but what makes it exciting is if you will go up into the tower, you will have a bird's eye view of the whole garden, which just I did. So we are down to two out of the seven attractions in the Powers Court House and Gardens. Just to give you a little idea, this, this garden is actually number three among the top 10 most beautiful gardens in the world. I gotta tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do The thing is, the garden closes at 5.30 in the afternoon And the last bus that I can get going back to Bray is 6 o'clock Now it's around half 3 in the afternoon the garden is so massive that I don't know if I can actually check all of the attractions. But yeah, we'll try our best. Let's keep, uh, let's keep going. We are here on the pet cemetery. It's actually a small section of the garden. But what makes it amazing is that you can see names of dogs, I think. I don't know if they are buried here. But yeah, they have a place in the garden. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive. But you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play. And you couldn't handle, but I had no way. I am not surprised anymore why there is a pet cemetery here because um, in Ireland, um, Dogs are really considered as part of the family. Um, they, 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 they act as companions. So I think this place is really nice if you just want to walk around, stroll, enjoy the view. So if you are in, in, in Ireland or in Dublin and then you have plenty of time, um, maybe it's a good idea to drop by to this place and then just, yeah. Walk around and enjoy what the place can offer.